Hello, my name is Sadie Parsons, and I threw this bottle of the Robert O. Seaman Scholarship as a drift bottle experiment. This special letter was written on the 31st of October 2015 during a voyage from the US to New Zealand. I am from Ohio Wesleyan University and, and I'm spending a semester at sea with a program called Sea Semester. Sadie placed it in a glass bottle and dropped it into the ocean in the hope it would be found by someone someday. For a year and a half, it floated across the ocean, travelling at least 4,000 k's before being washed up on a New South Wales beach and into the hands of Tristan. I found it at Hungry Head Beach and I was walking at the sand dunes and then I kicked it and I found it and I was really stoked. The bottle was covered in barnacles and they had to use a bottle opener to get the cork out before he could read what was inside. If you find this note, please contact me, Sadie Parsons. I'm very excited to hear from you. And he did. Oh, I contacted Sadie as soon as we got home and well, I asked her about herself and if she's still doing her job, what she's doing now. I almost threw my phone in the air and the email that I read. I was so excited, I told everybody I knew. Soon, they even got the chance to chat on the phone. Yeah, I never thought it'd be found, but I'm glad you found it, because obviously I made a new friend. <laughs> Sadie isn't the first person to send a message in a bottle. That title is thought to have gone to Greek philosopher Theophrastus around 310 BCE, who wanted to prove that the Mediterranean Sea was connected to the Atlantic Ocean. The oldest message in a bottle was found on a German beach after 108 years. It was released in the North Sea in the early 1900s as part of research into ocean currents. While some bottles can take a few months to wash up, others can take years. That's because ocean conditions are constantly changing. Things like currents, tides, winds and storms can affect a bottle's path. But experts say you might want to think twice before releasing a bottle yourself. Some bottles will just end up as rubbish. Others could break up and cause problems for marine life. You know, we made a connection and you're all the way on the other side of the world. Luckily though, Sadie's message found Tristan and brought together two young people from opposite ends of the world. And after their chance encounter, they're now hoping to meet in person. We, we hope that we might meet her one day and that will be really amazing. Yes, I mean, as long as you want to, Tristan, and if it's okay with you, Mom. I mean, Mom, <laughs> if you want to put it that way. So uh, I'm very excited. If you ever want to come to Catalina, you're more than welcome. You have a place to stay, anything like that. We'll just have to wait and see where this tale travels next.